Emil, uh, Bryce had mentioned at, at Media Days that you wanted to shore up some of the protection, um, some of the schematics of the offensive line this yeah. offseason. Just how much is different from last year? How much is the same? You can put a percentage on it. Um, I think probably in that is just reflecting and learning from last year. This offseason, we've lost a lot of films from just a lot of SEC games and just saw where we went wrong in the protection and the scheme of things. So just correcting that and got a new coaching staff kind of with offensive line and then you know, just bringing new ideas in. So just different ways of handling the protection, picking up the blitzes, just having a solid plan going into the season because we're going to get new blitzes from every team that we play. Like, it's Alabama week. It's going to be a certain blitz of the week. So just having that in mind and preparing for it in the offseason and catching on the front end is part of our mindset going into this year. Hey, Emil. Uh, Coach Saban said yesterday that the offensive line is where toughness and effort is established, not just for the line, obviously, but for the whole offense. Um, that being said, how do you establish that toughness and effort mentality? And just as a second part, uh, what's it been like working under Coach Wolford so far? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's exactly right. I feel like as offensive line, we set the tone for the entire team. Like just, I mean, we control the game, run, pass, protecting the quarterback, and then um, – just developing that toughness comes from days like like today. We're about to have a camp. It's hot outside, having to push through when you're tired, and just fighting when your back's against the wall. So just finishing plays and all that kind of stuff. Like while it's hard, it's like developing those habits now. And then uh, Coach Wolf has been great. He's brought great energy, great philosophy. He really knows what he's doing, protection-wise, creating angles for us in the run game. So I think it's going to be a big year for us in the, as an offensive line, just with the new new ideas and then. Just the mentality we have going into this year. Uh, Nick Saban yesterday said he's looking, you know, on the offensive line for somebody who's not going to accept the fact that guys aren't playing a certain way. Is that is that kind of you? Because of being the returning starter and being, you know, you know, entering your yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Coach just challenged myself, a couple of older guys in the room, just so we have leadership on the offensive line. He felt like last year. Leadership might not have been where it was supposed to be, so I really took that challenge upon myself to just, you know, push everybody to be their best and just set the example, you know, physically by just showing them like this is what it looks like to play hard and that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think the comment is probably directed at the older guys in the room, including myself. Amir, what have you seen from Tyler Steen as a transfer and J.C. Latham as a young guy that excites you on the offensive line? Yeah, so. I'm going to start with JC just because I'm most familiar with him. That's my guy, man. He came in from day one, even his freshman year, just was ready to work, ready to put in extra work. And it's me and him this summer. We got a lot of bank reps, late nights, 9 o'clock. We come up here in the facility, get some extra pass sets and stuff. So it's been really good working with him and trying to just take him under my wing as an older guy. And he's putting a lot of work this offseason. I feel like he's ready to have a really big year. And as far as Tyler goes, he just came in, put his head down, and went straight to work. I mean, he's kind of a quiet guy, but... He's got along with the guys in the room well and showed some really good flashes so far and then did really good at practice yesterday. So we'll just see how he keeps, keeps progressing. And, but he's came in and worked really hard and done a really good job. You've been here in an August coming off a championship. Now you're here in an August coming off of a, a loss in the championship game. What's, is there any difference in what you see in the, in the locker room? Um, I think there, there's a difference and just trying to change the things that we did wrong last year. Obviously, coming off of a championship, a lot of things went right as far as accountability, leadership on the team. And we can look back in la on last year and see that we didn't do those same, same things right. So just reflecting on what we messed up at and trying to correct them going into this season and really harping on the small things is probably the difference. But I mean, Coach Saban, I mean, the workouts are just as hard. It's almost it's just as hard when you're coming off of a, a winning a championship as it is losing. So. I mean, it's never going to change in the standard, but we're definitely focusing on those little things, trying to improve on what we messed up at last year. Charlie? First off, congrats on graduating this weekend. Thanks. I know that was one of your goals for, for coming back and that and winning a championship. So how does it feel to, to already cross one of those off the list? Definitely. I mean, it feels extremely fulfilling. As you come to college, that's obviously the first priority that you want to do is get your education. So just being able to have that in my back pocket is really good and a really good feeling. And, feel like I'm one step closer to, you know, my, my final goal, the reason why I came back. Emil, uh, how quickly did you turn the page from the national championship loss? I mean, how long did you watch film for? Like, what, what was that process like for you? I mean, it's kind of hard to turn the page, you know. Obviously, it was a tough loss. We worked all year to achieve that goal. And um, 
I feel like we really still, I mean, in a way, we still haven't turned the page because it's, it's always in the back of our mind. I mean, in our cafeteria, we got the participation trophy from the, the championship just sitting there. It's just like, it's like you participation trophy, like you made it, but you didn't, you didn't do anything, you didn't win. So, I mean, I wouldn't say we fully turned the page. Like, it's always going to be something that externally motivates us. But, yeah, that's all I got to say. Hey, Emil, um, obviously you got a couple of guys taking on some new spots on the offensive line this year. What can you tell us about how the unit is starting to mesh as a whole? I know we're, we're early in fall camp, but even dating back to the spring, what can you tell us about how the guys are starting to come together? I think we're coming together really well following Coach, Coach Wolf's lead. Uh, I know in the spring specifically, we made a lot of improvement in the run game, and that was something the coaches were really high on going into this fall camp. Uh, we were doing a lot of mixing and matching, trying to find the best five, and I trust the coaches will find you know the best group to go out there, but everybody's working really hard and feel like they got a point to prove as far as the narrative on the O line this season. Hey Emil, um, just wanted to get your thoughts on Nick Saban calling last year a rebuilding season. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, so I mean, it, w it was a real rebuilding season in our eyes. I mean, here at Alabama, we have a standard, and that standard may be higher than other people's, but that's our standard. I mean, coming out of 2020, we lost. A ton of production on offense, key leaders on defense. So, I mean, in a, in a sense, it was a rebuilding year. We had so many young guys playing and starting for the first time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much like, there's a lot of inexperienced guys out there. So now these guys got a lot of game experience and we look forward to how everybody's gonna perform this year with that, that added experience going into this season. Hey, Emil, what's been the biggest difference between uh, Coach Marone and Coach Wolford just in their styles and how they're coaching you guys? I mean, it's just two completely different guys. Coach Marone came from the league. He was a head coach. Um, coach Wolf was the offensive line coach in college at Kentucky. So I just tell you right there, like just NFL mindset and the college mindset. So the relationships and all that kind of stuff. But I ain't going to go into too much detail, but it's been a positive change with Coach Wolf. You mentioned some of the small things that you're focusing on, and Henry came in before and said that guys are telling guys to tuck in their shirts and wear the right shoes and socks. Mm -hmm. Just why are those things important, even just tucking in your shirt? Like, why is that important? It um, just comes down to discipline, doing something that you not, might not necessarily want to do. Like, guys want to look cool with a shirt out, you know, but just tucking it in, like, damn, I don't want to do it, but I got to do it just because, like, it's discipline. So that comes out to the field, like, hmm, am I going to do the right thing? Like, I'm tired as hell, but I got to make this block, you know? Just like Coach Saban believes that's the same mindset, and that we're trying to get the rest of the team to believe that, you know, and, like, the reason why them little things matter and why they're so important. Is that on the field or off the field? Tucking the shirt in the weight room, on the field, everywhere. I mean, it's the rules, so you got to follow the rules of practice. Same rules we're going to have in the game. Two more. I know he wasn't able to finish last season and he was out in the spring. What's it been like having Darian back at center? Uh, it's been pretty good. You know, Darian's an older guy in the room, has, has a ton of game experience. Um, He's been working really hard coming off his injury. I just think he'll have a chance to have, have a really good year now that he's healthy. He's been doing really good so far, progressing and uh, getting back right. You said that there's a participation trophy in the cafeteria. What's, you know, where is it? What does it look like? And what does it mean to you? It's, I mean, it's, it's a trophy 2022 Indianapolis. And it's basically like a, a runner up trophy. And we just got it there. And it's like a sign under it says participation trophy. Like, are you happy with it? So, just a little motivation just to see that every day. And uh, it reminds you, like, okay, this is what we're really working for, to, to change, and change the outcome of the season and focus to be the best that we can be this year so we can ultimately have a different goal. I mean, well, a different outcome at the end of the year.